Abjadu, the burial place of our forefathers, has grown over the years into a sprawling necropolis of sacred tombs. Now, most noble men and women wish to make this their eternal resting place. To honor them, the new pharaoh, Kazakimwe of the Second Dynasty, has ordered the construction of three sacred mastaba tombs, one of greater size than the other two, for the local nobility. Pharaoh has also ordered the creation of a powerful navy based at Bedet. Abjadu, too, must support a modest fleet of combat ships if our shores are to remain totally secure. This will not be easy, as timber is scarce and our climate supports only a few sparse areas of forest. Cedar may be imported at great cost from Byblos in the land of Lebanon to the northeast. Fortunately, exports of our native papyrus will provide a means of offsetting this expense. And welcome back everybody to Abjadu here on Pharaoh and New Era. In this mission here, we are now officially out of the tutorial. And this is the first one you'll encounter that has uh, limitations basically on your city and what you can build and stuff like that. So let's take a look. We got a population of 2,500. A culture rating of 25, which is higher than what we've had before, ending usually with 15. Monument rating of 17. We'll be building two small mastabas and one medium. Prosperity rating of 25. And a king rating of 60. You can see here. So let's get in. It's okay. Building boats and ships. Talks about that. Let's pause. And as always, let's take a look at our map. So we have the kingdom road over on this side. To the left over here. Um... We have a little bit of land here. We have some crocodiles. We have some nice flat area here where you can build uh, fishing areas and everything. And also docks because we will need to trade. All right, now let's take a look what I was talking about. So here, the only food we can do is fishing. Fishing is notoriously bad for feeding a city. At least it was an original fare. We'll see how it plays out now. And we have flax farms and barley. So we can make beer and we can make flax into linen. Let's take a look else and we do not have the ability to make clay we will have to import clay to turn into pottery we could also import straw to make bricks or we can just import the bricks completely we have the ability to make brickworks brewery potter and papyrus but no clay we can gather reeds there's a lot of reeds on this map and papyrus is probably going to be one of our main exports we only have one god of osiris we do have a uh, full military capability and uh, transport and warship wharf. That means that we will need to import wood and possibly weapons. Let me see our monuments here. Entertainment, we now have the pavilion, which is larger. And let's go ahead and take a look at the world map. We have Byblos way up north. That is a water trade route. That means you'll have to have a dock. It'll uh, We can import the wood. For Wadget here, uh, we'll sell clay, bricks, and pottery. We mainly just want clay and bricks, and we'll use our 2,500 labor pool uh, to make pottery. Timna here, they'll sell weapons to us, and they will also buy beer, linen, and papyrus, and it is a land trade route. They will also buy fish, but I don't think we're going to really have enough to export, because Pharaoh's probably going to want some too. We have Newt here that will sell clay and bricks as well. That is a water trade route. Behet, Bedet, Bedet. Um, we'll buy linen, and um, that's basically it from us as linen. And that is the cheapest, but we're going to hold off on that a bit. My plan is going to be to go ahead and just open this land trade route now and start our papyrus farm going ASAP. That automatically took off 900. So um, we do have crocodiles here. We have crocodiles here, and there are numerous crocodiles over there as well. Um so they, that can kind of hamper your, your people. They will respawn and come back kind of thing. And um, yeah, so I kind of have a plan on this. So let's see here. Let's get our city going. Um, still learning where some of this stuff is at. So if we do a ship right, right there. Okay. So if we go that cross six and then down nine and then connect those so that's one block 
Same, we'll go down nine again. This is just how I like to do it. You can do it anyway. If you've seen my videos before, you know, probably know I'm going to roto block those off just to keep our um, ability to go in and out open. And then, let's see here. Over. I'm going to go down eight. Down 17. Undo. Down eight. And then up 17 again. All right. So we'll connect those two right there. And then now with our new entertainment, I will plan for those. So one, two. All right. So we're going to go there. Go one. And then up four. And then over three. So it's four by four total. Up four. Over three. Let's check our work here. Well, I messed that one up. Because I'm supposed to go one more. One, two, three, four. And over three. That one is good, and that one is good. So that will now allow us to have jugglers, conservatory, and a dance school going. Go ahead and roadblock those off. Now, no pottery means that we're going to be lacking in population until we can start importing clay. So if our food... Let's look here. I'm going to have one more. That's four. And one more go up that way, just so we're not boxed in. Could put like a tax collector or just put a house there or something all right so that means bazaar can go over here if we put our granary over there so let's go one two three and then one two three that should be three right there for the temple two three four nice one two Three, four. And as always, let's get our services in. We now have access to a dentist, which we will need a dentist to um, increase our culture rating. Let's put our position in. And the water supply will go right there. Police. I will be getting rid of that police station later once we have a courthouse to... Um, to put a dentist there. All right. So we'll swell up our population a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that should be plenty just because we need to get our exports going. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and unpause. Get our people moving in. Breed gatherers. We will go with one, two. And I think those two will support six papyrus makers. One, two, three, four, six. All right. You want to see how big the shipwright is? comes back to Osiris well, doesn't matter matter too much right now but we will have the gods worshipped here soon with only one uh, god it's pretty easy to make everything work we do have a population milestone of 2500 on this map so it will definitely um be something that we have to look out for so let's get a storage yard for all of our lovely papyrus that's going to be made okay can only put that there so perfect that means maybe i can put that there and that there take take use of that little area down there at the bottom make sure our house is revolving correctly Looks like they are.
Awesome. All right. So we now have the papyrus being made. And if we need to, we will expand that. We are at 10. So as our water goes, we should build up a little bit more. I'm going to put a ship right in. It is expensive, but I need that to start getting food. 350. Oh, we forgot to... We forgot to tell it to accept all papyrus. And then let's go to our overseer of commerce right here. And papyrus, we are going to export when over zero. I want it all gone. I don't want any reeds there. That was an accident. All right. So, fishing. Let's see here. Straight back with that. And we will build our fishing wharves. Alright, I left those two there, because I'm now going to put a firehouse and an architect's post. Alright, our city is growing. It needs food. As always, we're going to put our granary over here. Now we'll put a storage yard right next to it, because I want the storage yard to also accept fish, and want the granary to accept all. Um, I believe Pharaoh is probably going to request fish, so we need to make sure he gets fish. Oh, I didn't talk about it. Another reason why I chose to build over here is fishing, as I said, is, is bad for feeding a city as a primary food, and it is notoriously slow. So they have to go to these swimming fishes right here, as you can see, and there's only like four of them on the map. There's one there, one there, one there. So there's three of them, I think, on this map. And there's none up here. So if you chose to build up here, your fishing horse would have to travel all the way down. And then they'd have to unload the fish and bring it back. So it 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 cuts your, uh, your production by about 30%, roughly. 30, 40%, depending. Which is why I chose to go over here, even though you have less space. You just basically gotta work around things. All right, we have begun trading papyrus, or um, our traders there. Let's see here. Let's check to make sure. Looks like everybody's good. All right, we're actually overproducing on reeds. So let's throw two more down. All right, employees are needed. All right, so fish, we're gonna tell it get all. So they'll transfer that fish to here. So the granary would fill up first and the storage yard would fill up second. It basically puts a priority on that. All right. We can go ahead and put in our bazaars. So we'll start feeding our people. I do want to build up a couple more houses. I'm not too worried about a population boom because um, we don't, we don't have pottery yet, so it will be very controlled. All right. What else can we do? We've gotten that going. That is six. Can add a few more, because if we ever over, oh, way overproduce fish, we could technically export it. And I can always cut these back later. We will add three more. One, two, three, four. Hey. Just doing that for later for my marking. When we start using docks over here, this will be storage yards and other crafting areas. You want your, your storage yards to be close to 
um, where your docks are. It's okay. We're getting some um, ear. No inundation. That is fine because I'm not farming yet. But let's go ahead and start making him happy. So it is 375. Each temple, uh, each patron temple is 375. And then it's 187 for a shrine. We have 576, so we should be able to get away with just a temple and a shrine right now. Um, let's see here. Don't really have a good spot. I can't put it over here anymore because our pavilions will, or yeah, our new pavilions will block that. There we go. That should work. So, yep, he is amiable now. So we have met that requirement. We are going up, though. Oh, you can hover over that to see your unemployment. I did not know that. Huh. All right, you see, we're still, even with all these fishing wars, we're still kind of struggling to get our uh, supply up. So we're getting there. Our people are being fed. All right. So now it is time to move into another exports. I would like to have two sets of exports before I move into importing. That way I know I'll always be in the in the black, to say. Um, I did see a mistake I made is this fishing wharf right here. Um, we need to put a water crossing. That should be services, I believe. Yes, ferry landing right there to, let's say, right there and a little trick is you just put a road right there with the global labor pool and it will have customers so just for when i start expanding i'm gonna farm over here i think and bring it back i don't think i want to touch this it's not really enough and it is relatively small so all right guys i'm gonna build up the city a little bit more and then once i get my stuff in we'll be back and we're back, guys. So I wanted to demonstrate this. Ran into an issue here. I was trying to fill in this floodplain here, and you see this darker stuff here? You can't build along it. As you can see here, and there's no, there's no path. So you can do a water crossing, but then my workers would have to go all the way up and over and back down and then deal with the crocodiles. So I've kind of, for now, We'll probably just abandon this portion here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a path over here. So I'm going to go nine. Nine. There we go. Four. All right, so that right there will work as basically a, a lot of industrial area. So I roll a block off there too. I'll put my farms, what little farms I can get, see what I can do about these crocodiles, maybe put in some constables, some police stations up here. And, yeah, I just wanted to show that because I have a feeling Pharaoh's going to start requesting beer here shortly. So, okay, guys, I'm going to get this all set up and we'll be back. All right, guys, we just got the beer up and going and Pharaoh's already requesting 1,112 months. That's going to be real close. We'll see if we can get it or not. Um, got to make sure you tell the bazaars not to buy beer. So we're going to stockpile this resource. Looks like we're going to lose somebody to a crocodile. Come on, constable. Kind of glitchy. Yeah, let's see. Nobody's died. There we go. He's fighting them. Ugh. 
Yep. Police officer lost. Alright guys, you can see we get the beer up here going. Everything's being made, so... We'll continue to develop, continue to deal with unemployment, well not unemployment, but not have enough workers, and then we'll be back here shortly. Alright guys, and we're back. We just got enough here, it looks like, to a send Pharaoh his tribute. So we're going to go ahead, since we couldn't meet it, we're going to go to Overseer's, um, Political Overseer. We're going to hit Submit, send that on to Pharaoh. Should still make it there in time. Uh, we might lose a little bit of the Kingdom rating for it, if we would have gained, but we still made it. So as you can see down here, um, expanded the houses out. Not a whole lot going on, really. We're still struggling to make food meat. That's what I'm just talking about with these, this fishing. is It just doesn't. With this many fishing hut, uh, wharfs, you should be putting out so much more fish. But we're not. And if Pharaoh suddenly asks for fish, we either have to not do it, or um, have to make our people starve to feed them. So that's just kind of the problem. I was saving one of these over here for the dock. I can get one more fishing wharf in and one dock up here. So that's what it is. All right, guys. I'm going to keep going on this, and then I'll be back here shortly. All right, guys. Figure it's go ahead in time to... We should really just get started on this uh, Mastabas here. So you can hit R to rotate these if you didn't know. Um, remember, they do require road access. I'm going to put the first one there. And then I'll actually put down... We have a little bit of unemployment. Um, so we're actually going to put down another work camp here. And uh, it can send out four workers a month. So we have six farms up here. So that's 4812. So we should have enough extra workers over here. So let's see. Yep, we're already sending out people. So that's just kind of unused labor right there. Still having a problem with crocodiles wandering around. I tried to build more constables to, uh, to just... Um, <laughs> get rid of them but they keep killing the console so hopefully uh hopefully it'll even each other out so we did send it in time excellent my kingdom rating has risen remember on that we do need uh 60 so we're there we just got to get our monuments in and we got to start importing bricks and everything so um let's go ahead and take a look at that now the closest would be the debt they're going to sell bricks to us, so let's go ahead and open that. Um, we're going to also... I have my bazaar set to not buy beer, because we're doing... We're 1,200 short, roughly, 1,111 short of uh, our population goal, but we're going to start exporting beer. Um, that way we can start making more money. So I'm going to set a dock up up here, connect it up, and then, uh, yeah. So, All right, guys, going to start my imports, going to get that going, and then once... I get things a little more settled, we'll jump ahead. Alright guys, we're back here at the city. And I just wanted to show you, we're still sitting here. I can upgrade these with entertainment, but I don't want to right now. Still having crocodiles run rampant. Um, Pharaoh gifted us some bricks for completing his request. So we got those in there. We are still um, trying to import more. We're selling all of our beer because we're not using any of it. We're just selling it as it gets harvested. And then, uh, yeah, I got more down. Our unemployment is at 6%. We're doing good. I could swell this at any time. I just don't really have much of a use for them right now. We do have our um, personal mansion, village palace, tax collector, and scribal school going since we have all the pirates just sitting there. So you can see we're getting some bricks sold to us. We have a working dock, one more wharf, Finally starting to get a little bit of a handle on food. I would love for the granary to be full and hopefully start filling up that storage yard. So, not a whole lot going on over here. It seems that workers um, really don't want to cross anymore unless uh, they used to just go ahead on their own, but now they don't want to anymore. So it seems that if you have an industry on this side, it likes to be on this side. If you have an industry on this side, it likes to be on that side. So, got a full inundation on the Nile over here. As you can see, we have made Osiris very happy so yeah guys just keeping on as we are I'm just trying to get by with selling beer and papyrus only um, 
we could extend into uh, linen up there if we need to. But right now I'm going to keep these core resources going. Keep bringing in the um, uh, the bricks. Get this Mustaba finished and just keep going. That's a big one is uh, just keep these Mustabas going. Just keep them going as much as you can as soon as you have a steady income. So, Alright guys, so much for that right now. And uh, I'll be back here shortly with y'all. Alright, so far you can see our food is starting to kind of finally get underway. We're filled up that granary. I'd love to get a granary plus storage yard over there. Um, we're going to expand into uh, entertainment here because we are going to need some more um, population here coming soon. And that will allow us to get our population going a little more. So we'll put that there. We'll put the uh, dance school right next to it. We're going to put the conservatory right there so they'll all walk up. And some of our houses did evolve incorrectly. Why are you de-evolving? I don't know. So I, I probably should destroy those and then redo them just so they're correct. Because that does limit what housing we can get there. Um, let's see here. So yeah, we're working on importing some wood to bring over here to make some... Um, uh, Warships, just in case Pharaoh asks for any ships to be sent. We can go ahead and actually start the second. You can hit R to rotate these. Start our second monument there. Let's extend this down. I think that should be enough. Next, and get that guy going right there. Do those cost money? Hmm. I have to look the footage later and see if those actually costed money. Not used to them costing any money to start. All right, so we have been importing wood, but I think I need to maybe turn that down a bit because it's wood is very expensive. And um, I say just import to maintain 500. You see, every input is um, 225. So if we import, yeah, it's it's actually. Turn that down for now because I don't have the money just in case they sell me a bunch. I'm going to go into debt. Um, beer. I want to have an extra storage yard just in case. So, uh, fair request something coming up here soon. We're not going to be messed up with that. So, okay. We have that going. We have entertainment. Um, should be starting up here soon. It should evolve. I think the next step is pottery, which we're not going to have. We don't have the leeway right now to sell pottery, or to get pottery, unfortunately, to evolve. Um, it is relatively cheap, so it's going to come soon, but I need to get my money back up. All these bricks are costing an arm and a leg. I can expand up here, and I might do that here soon to start doing, um, once we get another population boom, to get linen, so we can start selling linen. So, Alright, guys, uh, I'm going to Keep on pressing here, and I'll be back here shortly. All right, our housing here is evolving nicely. I did destroy those to get them to re-evolve back up correctly. Um, I just had to stop the import of bricks because we are going broke. So hopefully they'll start uh, buying more beer here soon. And... We, we need to, once we get some money, I think once they buy a bunch of beer, I'll expand into linen. Well, never with that. But I still would like to, to sell. But once we get um, more cash on hand, we will expand into linen and start selling linen. Um, Osiris has been pretty happy with us. So, shouldn't be an issue. And then we can expand this into pottery as well, I believe. Um, let's get that pottery. 140. So, it's relatively cheap. That's what we're selling beer for, it seems. So, maybe not. Oh, we can import clay, actually. 38. We do have the problem. Yes, we do. So, okay. So, I will 
We just had some more come in from beer cells. So, what's our unemployment? Not a whole lot. All right, I think I will manage it up. Thank you, Pharaoh. That helped. It's okay, I think I'm going to expand out into pottery and clay. Import clay, expand into pottery right here. Oh, I also disable predators because these crocodiles, no matter how many constables fought them, they would never die. And they were really glitchy, like they were teleporting back and forth. So I just turned them off. Um, in other missions, you would use like your military to take care of them, or you'd just be really cheap and just like block them off with statues, um, which I guess could be a thing to keep them out, you know, natural man made thing. But I, um, in this mission, I'd already gone through enough of that, and I just got tired of it. So, I, I got rid of them because it was just... It was too much. Just trying to deal with them. Because they were really glitchy. They were, like, teleporting around the map and stuff, so... Um, we'll leave them on. We'll turn them back on after this mission to deal with, like, the hyenas and scorpions and stuff later. And, and see how we do with that, so... Alright, guys. I'm gonna get pottery going. And then once I get all that set up and probably get this evolving here, I'll be back. All right, so we have a basic uh, flax farm up here going. Some weavers. I'm not sure on the ratio on that, but I have them set to bring it over here. Hopefully they do. We just got clay in, so we're going to start producing pottery. It's going to come down to here and then um, bring it over. So hopefully this should solve our unemployment issue as soon as we start getting this pottery going. Um... So, other than that, just waiting on more. Okay, so that is a scripted event. Some of your citizens have taken ill. Something in the water. Not seeing anything. Don't see anything changed. Maybe because we have perfect health coverage, I guess. So, um... Even though Osiris is happy, we're not really getting any bonuses from him at all. And he's been at max. So, let's do the Festival Square. Let's see if this will throw him over the top. So, I don't want to use any of my beer, because that's what I'm exporting. But, maybe this will work, because we should have plenty of temples and shrines to Osiris. So. I do have a good bit more money now, so I will start re-importing bricks again just to get this going. Um, that's kind of the hard thing is uh, just trying to tell it to how not to go into debt, you know, and then keep going with everything, so... This mission's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But there we go. I just saw some houses evolving here. Even though we do not have much pottery. Um, now with that workforce coming in, I will actually build another potter. And if I need to later, I can get rid of it. Um, just so we can increase that pottery production. I have this storage right here set to get the pottery. All right, guys, that's where we're at right now. Um, hopefully, uh, let's speed it up a little bit. Hopefully these guys here will bring, there we go. That, I guess that just took, that was the kicker over. Osiris didn't want to love me. So there we go, we got a perfect inundation, perfect flood. Um, still haven't got these warships built. Just want to see is this going to transport over like it should because this is set to accept yes it is finally somebody's using the ferry it's the first time so it does work i was worried about that there's our immigrants coming in right now nice everybody we got more bricks coming in let's set this to get okay so it should be on. 
it's uh oh, it's probably the carp pushers out doing something yep getting it from there so all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward on this a bit and see you back here shortly if anything happens before all right our first mastaba is finished let's take a look this one is finished. They are working on both of these at the same time, it seems. But we are getting there. Still just trying to keep all the houses up here. Keep everybody happy. Uh -oh. Excellent. Thank you, Osiris. Kingdom Standing Climbs. Hopefully he'll send me bricks then. So. Let's see. Let's go to our ratings. We are at 25 culture. We have 41 prosperity, 84 kingdom. We are just working on that monument. This is very typical of uh, monument missions to where it's just, especially when you don't have the resources here, of you have to just keep accepting. The reason I have two storage yards for bricks is, of course, we'll get imports in, and then usually when Pharaoh will gift you bricks, it'll be about half to three-fourths of a storage yard, so you want to make sure that you have room to accept those. We are right at, almost right at our population cap of, or not cap, but target of 2,500. Um, these housings would evolve. House can evolve, supply a beer. So all we gotta do is sell beer, and all our houses will evolve, and we'll meet our cap. But I don't want to do that, because I'm sitting at right around 9% unemployment. So, we're going to just keep that as it is, and then right when we finish our Mastaba, I'm going to sell beer, all the houses will evolve, and we'll complete the mission. So, Until then, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. And then at this point, it's just kind of waiting for these to be finished. Oh, there's our grips from Pharaoh. So, All right, we'll be back here shortly. What's this? Oh, Royal Scholar Adam. Storms are raging and rough waters threaten to tear trading ships apart. It could be months before the winds calm. And merchants dare risk their cargoes again. Until then, we cannot trade by water. So, water trading has shut down. So, it's import and exports. I have started selling some fish. I moved some weavers over here. Um, just because Osiris was uh, being very nice to us. That was a mistake. But Alright. Looks like we have extra room for our breweries as well. Looks like we should be able to uh, start selling beer. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and tell them to buy beer. And buy beer. So that will also uh, evolve the houses. Nice. And we will get continue to get more in taxes. That was another thing too, is when your houses are so not evolved... Um, their taxes don't really equal out their wages. So now that we are producing a very much needed amount of beer and pottery, of course, we can continue to see our houses evolve. Looks like everybody is evolving quite nicely. And that will make our pollution, our pollution, our population boom quite large and we will just probably build more work camps to compensate for that um so all right guys wanted to give you that update there and hopefully this shutdown on trading doesn't hurt us too bad all right it looks like trading is back open and we are selling and purchasing a whole lot of stuff it was only closed for a bit you can see here a lot of our houses have all evolved um, into common residences. Um, we do have the money. So let's go ahead and plaza. Those are gardens. <laughs> let's go ahead and plaza up everything here for that last needed bit to get basically all the houses to evolve up into common residences. We're going to have a huge immigration wave come in. You can see we had just hit our population 2,500. Oh, our beer is full. Let's go ahead and make a 
And this is why. Thank you. Double from Osiris. I guess I did not pay enough attention to Osiris in this mission. Probably would have been quite a bit easier if I did. So I'm going to go ahead. Yep, that's on get all. Good. And then we're going to load that one up as well. Probably could have hit this target population a lot earlier. Got more in taxes and just been able to expand a whole lot faster. But some setbacks in the beginning, kind of. I played it a little safe, maybe too much safe. So. All right, guys, this Mustafa is being built. This one here is almost done. 3,600 more to go. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're on the path to success. Let's take another look at our ratings. 25, 60 prosperity. We're working on our monument and 83 kingdom. So we are just over our housing cap right there. So. All right. Okay, I'm going to put this on five times speed because I think my city is fairly stable. Thank you, Pharaoh. That is good. Okay, so workers rejoice at ra wage. Workers rejoice at ways. <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh, rule scar, Adam, times change. And now wages have increased throughout the kingdom. Your own workers may depart for greener pastures. If you see this, jump on it quickly. Pause. Wrong button. And jump on that quickly. Uh, Overseer of the workers. No. Treasury. Because kingdom pays 35, we will now pay 35 as well. If you do not, people will leave your city big time. So make sure you do that. You can see payroll this year, 4,600. Uh, 4,068. Um, you can also look at your expenses and it breaks everything down. So... We are taxing currently at 9% and all of our uh, taxes are being collected because everybody, let's look at that overlay, taxes, everybody is in this loop. So 100% of my population is being taxed, 100% is for health, they are good. And you can check your overseers here. Which one is public health? Perfect. We have perfect coverage. So we only have one variety of food. And that is fine. Because if not, these would have all passed uh, common residences. So, all right, guys. I'm going to unpause, go to five times speed, and hopefully this will finish out here shortly. And I will see you back. All right. And we are back. Uh, we just got notice that NEP is nuked. I always mispronounce that is now willing to trade game meat or even more. So that's interesting. We're not going to import it because that would push us fast, but I just want to kind of marvel how well this city is doing. It's been on five times speed for a while. Our unemployment is staying right at around 3% perfect. All of our housing is stable. We are continuously gaining uh, lots and lots of money. Um, and we just finished our last brick. This should complete the mission. And it did. Victory. Pharaoh smiles at your accomplishments. You have made the most of what the river and sea have to offer. Defending our borders with a small but capable fleet of ships. You have also honored the nobility by providing them with tomes to house their bodies. So some things I would have done a little differently in this. I would have expanded across and started linen production a lot earlier. And started selling that as well just to have triple exports and i think that would have allowed me to import bricks from an earlier time to finish the masabas quickly um and i also would have evolved my houses in more of a hurry and then just soaked up the labor with work camps to allow me to have higher taxes um and also i should have paid much more attention to osiris in this mission um, really towards the middle end, he just started giving me so many buffs and benefits that I just, I, I mean, I had so many breweries that it was just insane. Um, so you can see here as our final thing, we had 25 culture, 60 prosperity, 94 kingdom rating, and a population of 2,620. So that was Abjibdu right there. Mission seven. We are going to go ahead and also knock out the sister mission to that, the Het before moving on to mission eight. So thanks for watching and I hope to see y'all tune in some more.